everybody! My headphones just fell off my ear! And welcome to Slender the Arrival! Start of the game. Um, <clears throat> this game's been actually for a little while. Uh, link in the description. <laughs> um, this is actually the first time I'm recording Scary Sundays in my freaking house. That's a thing. There's a car. It's like, oh, carlific. So yeah. Oh god. So often are we guided by our devotion, our love, our affection. Yes, yes, we are. I completely agree with this. A bond that pulls us down, but not burdened. Something. Okay, uh, and when you find yourself alone, as he casts out that something, how far will it carry you? Spiegel! Just the Spiegel! Oh my god, this is beautiful. Uh, I've heard complaints how the graphics suck in this game. Um, I disagree already. I think this looks pretty great. Uh huh. Can I jump? Hello? Oh my. Okay, so, um. Look at this. The wilderness. Ah! Ah, we can't zoom. Okay, so thank goodness we're recording. And at that point, my live commentary comes for an end, at least for a few minutes. Um, I had a little bit of a problem with the recording in the sense that it died. My camera just kind of like flipped out. I was like, nope. So don't worry, it comes back at around, uh, let's see, that's about the six and a half minute mark. So if you don't want to hear my post commentary ass, you know, you can skip to about six and a half minutes and then that's, and then everything will be good. You'll be able to tell I'm live commentary again by when my face pops up. So Blue Isle Studios, Parasec Productions, I think that's what that said. So this game overall, I'm going to say right now, um, I rage quit it on the second chapter. Um, so look forward to that, but not really because it's kind of an annoying rage quit more than anything. But stay for the third chapter. Seriously? Holy cr The scariest moments of my video gaming life occurs during that moment. I'm literally awestruck with how terrified I get in that moment. You guys will see, and I actually have not reviewed that footage yet, so I might just be hyping it up for absolutely nothing. But just wait for it because it will. it's terrifying. So, uh, most of my commentary got cut out in this part. Well, obviously, it all got cut out because my camera was like, NOPE! Ha <laughs> ha! What I actually think happened was uh, it ran out of space. But for some reason, it, like, it beeped at me at a certain point, which is like five minutes after it stopped recording to tell me that it, its memory was full. And I, I guess it like, deleted part of the footage or something. But yeah, that was pretty annoying. But yeah, so I got a comment on how like beautiful this game looks. I mean, it looks very nice. I mean, there's some glitches later on that occur. That's like, why couldn't this have this been fixed? And right now, I'm actually like wandering backwards because it's like, oh, let's follow this brick wall, even though it's clearly a barrier. <laughs> I think I was trying to like look to get in or something. Oh yeah, look at all these beautiful trees. Look at these beautiful trees. But yeah, this game, like in general, it starts off not too scary, but it gets scary. And why am I paused right now? Okay, 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 we're going still. Okay, great. I didn't review this footage because, you know, there I wasn't gonna review footage. I didn't have commentary over because that'd be a lot more boring. Um, <laughs> let's keep walking. Right now, the walking in this game oh, reminds me of Dear Esther a lot. Like, doesn't it just has the exact same feel? Minus, well, not even like minus the music, because the music in Dear Esther was similar to this as well. Maybe not quite as like frantic. Maybe frantic isn't even the right word, but I mean, it's you know, which it was, yeah, something like that. Um, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> I that's what. Why do I do that? I lose my train of thought when I there's absolutely no reason for me to lose my train of thought. Um, so yeah, we're seeing these rocks, like, ooh, is there anything on these rocks? Is it like, you know, pff, d d coke and rum on the rocks or something? I don't know what that means. Oh man, I, I don't know. Um, uh, but yeah, so, ooh, there's footsteps, and there's a vehicle. Hey, vehicle, what's going on, dog? Nothing? Why don't you say anything? Oh yeah, it's because you're a freaking vehicle! Yeah, no idea why I'm pausing here. Um, just, I guess we want to clearly get a better look at this vehicle. Uh-huh, that is indeed, it's like a Jeep kind of thing going on. Yep, it's pretty fantastic. At this point, I'm like, where the heck do I go? Because I had no idea where to go. As you can probably tell, because I had no idea where to go. But, you know, I eventually find my way, and where is this big reveal going to take me? Hmm. We're wandering through a forest. No signs of civilization. What makes sense for me to find? Hmm, is it a bumblebee? It's a bumblebee! No, it's not. Okay, you, you can see it over the horizon. It, it's a, it's a, 
building. Yay! And it's also getting darker out. Yay, very subtle. Actually, it's not even that subtle. It works out pretty well, but it, it could have been a lot more subtle. Like, it would have been cool if it started getting dark right near the beginning, so, like, it would be a lot more progressive. Like, look at this. Right now, you could definitely see, like, it's very quickly progressing from day to night, which is kind of weird. And then I discover I can run! Yes, run for your ho life, house. Run for your house, little boy, Chris. Past Chris is the future Chris. At this point, look at the door right there. It doesn't look like there's someone standing there. With a suit and tie. Maybe a certain slender man. Yeah, it does. Um, but, you know... So this is quickly cutting into right where I'm about to start talking again. Ooh, ooh. You could open windows, which kind of scared me for a second. Look at that. Do you? Would you want to go in the house? No. Looks terrifying, doesn't it? Oh, there's a nice garage with an old car that probably doesn't even move. I mean, that's pretty fun, right? Yeah? Yeah, it is. Hmm, so let's be stupid and walk around the house when clearly I'm supposed to go inside the house. Come on, just go inside the house, man. You'll be outside the house later, maybe. Ah, I'm kind of spoiling stuff a bit. <laughs> the fact that I go outside. Well, is that really spoil? I guess it kind of is, but I mean, it's not like a big spoiler. Like, Slender Man chases you! Ah! Saw so, crap, I spoiled it. Okay, of course he does. Well, this game is freaking called Slender the Arrival. Where is he arriving to? It's a mystery. Anyways, my comp day is about to start because at that point I realized, oh, I, my camera is flipping out. So I will see you guys later and enjoy the series. And I'm back. So, um, a little bit tidbit about Slenderman. I don't need these anymore. <laughs> Who wears glasses? Stupid full eyes! What's wrong with you? Okay, <laughs> a little tidbit about Slenderman is he actually messes with technology. Which would be fine and all, except for the fact that, um, my camera just randomly shut off. Like, not this camera, like, not, um, freaking, not, uh, uh, fraps, but literally my video camera is with my face cam. It has no connection to my computer. So, um, Slenderman somehow messing with something that has no relation to, like, the internet at all, or this game, which is kind of weird. That isn't actually decent TV, I gotta say, I'm tripping. Oh my god! Holy crap, that scared me! I'm wearing a hoodie. Thought spoilers. I am Slenderman. Am I holding a flashlight? I don't do. I don't have a flashlight. How can I be holding a flashlight when I don't have a flashlight? That's actually kind of creepy. I wonder if Maskey's in this game. Is Maskey in this game? Hey, you want to play some chess? Oh my god! Okay, that's kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. I didn't ex actually expect him to play the piano. <laughs> um, dishes. Hey, that is not a dish rack. Oh my good lord, yes! It's about time. The question is, does this have batteries? Like, is batteries something I should be worrying about? I don't know, my head is itchy. Okay. Um, beautiful painting, 10 out of 10. Why is there a whole bunch, why is there so many globes in this house? Is it necessary? Thanks for calling last night, it probably sounds dumb, but it's good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's been doing really well too. But yeah, but what we all said, I'm not sure what you think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Can it really speak coincidence? I have gone to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm trying to casually bring up serious stuff about the CR Okay, shut up! Shut up! Holy crap, that was annoying. Jesus. Started off kind of unsubtly, but no. Just no. No! What is this? Okay. Well, at least it's not poison like in that one game. The house. What are those? Oh, those, I thought those are batteries. Okay, never mind. All is well. When my camera died, I had to go find the charger, and I ended up hitting my back against like a sharp corner of my cabinet. Now it hurts like a lot. Can you come kiss it better, please? Please. Please and thank you. Anybody? Anybody out here? No? Okay. I said I'd ask. You know, can we? Okay, it's kind of weird with these doors, I gotta say. Okay, we made a lap around the house, which is good because I was getting kind of lost, to be honest. I kind of like getting lost in houses just because it feels really neat and such. Whoa, holy glitchies. Okay, opening doors is not fun, I gotta say. Picked up a key. Yay, I can go freaking driving now. I'll steal the car. Okay. Has there really been like. How's there not been a scare yet? And okay. This is a nice bathroom, I got to say. Is there any blood in the freaking toilet? I mean not toilet, the bathtub. That's always like, like a cliche. There's always 
bathtubs filled with blood for no real reason other than just because. Okay, great. So if I want to commit suicide, I can easily just jump out that window. I'm not going to. My head is itchy. Let's scratch that once again. There we go. So nothing going to happen in this house. Is this house based off the house in Marble Hornets? Like the one where Masky was originally in? Why is there so many plants? What is this person's obsession with plants? What the hell is that? 